Hey everybody, my name's Sam Saggers from Positive Real Estate. Whether you own your own home, whether you're buying property for the first time, or whether you're a seasoned investor, there's gonna be some great tips and strategies on what you should be doing over the next 24 months of property investing. I've assembled and handpicked the right people to come along and give you some good tips and ideas from understanding property markets to understanding tax depreciation. From, a, from simple concepts around renting your property and safeguarding that for the future. There are ideas, there are tips, there are some great things that you can implement. These are tangible strategies. So make sure you tune in over the next six weeks because you're gonna hear from the best people in the business and they're gonna help you, point you in the right direction so you can get the best out of property investing for your future. So many people go in blind to property investing. In fact, they don't set the right parameters to make a successful property portfolio. A lot of people come unstuck as the years unfold. So to get started, I thought it very prudent we bring along an expert when it comes to setting the scene in property strategy. Jason Witten, the founder of Positive Real Estate. Welcome aboard, buddy. Thanks, Sammy. Good to have you. Jason, where should people start when it comes to property investing? It's a good question, Sammy, and then when people ask me that question, they say, where should I start? I say, fast forward to the end. Whatever that end is for you, whatever your goals are, whatever your outcome is, understand what that is. A very important question to know is what's that gonna cost you? What's it gonna mean at the end financially? And then reverse engineer to where you are, and then that's where you start. You must have an end goal before you start the start, because if uh, you aim at nothing, you're sure to hit it. Absolutely. It's so important. You need to have some clear direction on what you want. I think that's so important. In this industry, strategy is talked about a lot. I think uh, sometimes it's an overused word, but I guess what, what can people deal, do to build a great strategy? Strategy is really important. Obviously, um, along the way, you need to know the moves you need to make. You want to choose some properties wisely, etc. But before you get to your strategy, you've got to understand a few things. People face what I call financial inefficiencies. Most people don't know where they are really financially, and they really don't know what's holding them back. So before you get to strategy, before you decide the moves and the things you're going to do, you've got to identify what's holding you back and what you can do about those things in reality, and then you can get around to setting your strategy. Makes sense. I guess you mentioned the idea of financial inefficiencies. You've worked with a lot of people what are the typical financial inefficiencies that most people face? The major inefficiencies in literally everyone's life are taxes. You know, they say two things are certain in life, death and taxes. Well, in property investing, you can actually minimise those taxes significantly, and that's why property is really attractive. But it's a benefit, it's not an investment principle. Um, understand that your owner-occupier mortgage or debts destroy your ability to create wealth. And I use that word purposefully, destroy, because it holds you back. And you've got to understand that and you've got to understand when to use them wisely and when not to have them. Um, and the, the third thing is what, what I call um, um, lazy equity or lazy money or inefficiencies um, in what things you have, but you're not using them. And those three things are the major inefficiencies in most people's lives. They don't really understand that they are inefficient. They don't really understand that they can be turned into making um, um, turning them into a, a positive for their investment future. It's interesting, isn't it? So many people just don't know that they're in a great position to actually moment forward. They're actually trapped by a belief that uh, of, of a system that they just don't understand. They don't understand tax, they don't understand leverage, they don't understand their own buying power. So important. Jason, thanks so much for joining us today. No problem. For more information and for more episodes of the Six Week Property Transformation, make sure you tune in next week. Bye for now. You've just heard from one of our property experts, but it doesn't stop there. Property investing is a journey and it's always good to take as much information as you can to apply it to the marketplace. Positive Real Estate's been holding information nights for the last 10 years on property investment. I'd encourage you, register your details so we can help you understand what is actually happening out in the marketplace. Spend an hour and a half of your time at one of our free events, register your details, 
And I hope to catch up with you soon.